So have you guys ever just needed somebody to give you guys some really nice constructive criticism, but you always just get the good job. Okay, nice. Yeah, I got you. But let's just review a few projects and just see what we can, uh, what I can help you guys out with. And as always, guys, you're not going to check out my everything pack. It's in the description down below. It's basically get all of my 23 custom made design products on purchase, plus all of my future self by products for free, no matter the price emailed to you. And we have a discord community. where We just have like a really lot of cool stuff in there. We're like a lot of cool people. It's private. It's dope and exclusive products. So if you guys, if you guys are into it, let me know and just join below. And I want to spoil you for the rest of your life. So yeah. Okay. So the first project I ended up picking out was by a person named Instinct. Now, the reason why I picked this project in specific is I think a lot of people might be in the same exact design phase for their own journeys in the first like year or two of designing. And the overall idea and the purpose of this design is to welcome this person in, right? You want this to be very important for Frosty. You know, maybe like the organization comes very much so last. So you want to be Frosty the name, the person that's going to be joining. This game is going to be playing. And of course, it's tweeted out on our Fire Nation, you know, Twitter account. So third is going to be like, hey, of course, don't forget it's on Fire Nation, right? When I look at this design over here, oddly enough, I'm probably going to be looking and saying this is the first thing I'm going to be seeing over here. The overall characters in the game, right? Secondly, I'm probably going to be seeing uh, the, the name Frosty. What's fighting for second for me also is this for some reason, right? It's very big. It's very in there in, in people's faces. And then maybe third is these click to actions. These click to actions, that means hashtags. That means your subtext, right? All those different things are basically supposed to come off as impressions. That does not need to be a main purposeful thing that is very visible in a graphic that is supposed to celebrate a new member. So for Fire Nation, Fire Nation welcomes and hashtag Fire Nation for life. That's like tasteful. It's tasteful texture that has an impression to it. So all that stuff can immediately just get a lot more smaller, which will then jump into the actual other thing that's very important in this design here. It's also lacking is white space. OK, let me just say this as clear as possible objects texts, they have feelings too. So let's say if you were a letter T, I'm a letter T. Why am I doing this? This does not feel a little bit weird unless it was like this. This feels a little bit better. <laughs> New example. Let's just say if my head, you see how I have like a good enough amount of head space in this camera frame. If I was here, this feels awkward. This feels weird, right? Cause I'm so close to the edge. This should just be an alarming bell that says, no, no. When it comes to text and objects, a good like rule of thumb, right? Is that the overall text for like, let's say frosty, this word here, if the F cannot be duplicated again on the left hand side, or the Y cannot be duplicated on the left hand side, uh, or the right hand side, or the whole overall entire word can't be kind of stacked twice without it touching the edge, is a pretty good rule of thumb. And maybe for heads, I would just say like halfway. If halfway the head cannot hit the top, no good as well. The overall idea here is that I want to make sure the word frosty and welcome were at least number one and two, or at least in the first three things you pretty much see. Second, I wanted to make sure I actually got the overall characters in there as well to be understood as, hey, frosty is being welcomed to play this game. And then, of course, the last point you should focus on is the Fire Nation hashtag Fire Nation for life clicks to actions because they overall really don't support the design and its purpose. Like I said, again, it's just texture. Do you guys want to also know a really quick little tip I want to include just to, just because I love you guys in this photo right here, we can see some fire stuff going on in the background hand too. It looked a little bit awkward because we're putting 2D elements and they're putting like real life elements with like cartoonish elements and they don't feel like just genuine 2D assets. And I'm gonna show you a quick trick when it comes to like elements and things like that, like like water and fire, for instance. So I have this very obvious fire texture that realistically would not work very well because it doesn't look too cartoonish. Watch this. So we go to file. Nope. Edit. Sorry. Nope. <laughs> image adjustments and then use posterize we're gonna put this around like level four or three or whatever then we go to where it says filter filter gallery and right under artistic we're going to use the word cutout and for the number of levels you can kind of like play with this yourselves but i'm gonna say level four looks pretty good we're gonna put this up a little bit more maybe like a two and then just like that you immediately have a more cartoonish or maybe like a more graphical 2d element that does kind of suggest as fire but is not actually fire and that's what I actually end up putting in the background of my design here okay so for the next piece we're gonna be reviewing is designed by john r designs and this guy overall already has a really freaking dope poster i'm not gonna lie first things first i appreciate the overall asset search on this project here just like our previous design before the overall assets that you actually gather are just as important as the overall outcome of the design itself right however there was just this lingering thing that i hated which was this lightning i 
can't tell you how many times I look at a design and see people use assets that are like super nice HD quality. And all of a sudden they want to get lazy because it's the background and put really crappy designs in it. I also consider the fact that this overall design, it had so much natural light and glow to it that it made the overall project look so dynamic if I think you actually just kind of just mess with the color correction just a little bit. Just like how assets matter too, if you're not using camera off filter by the end of your design project, it's not even finished yet. Look what I ended up doing for this overall project. I first off, you can immediately see that I wanted to make sure I put that lightning and made it very relevant to what the overall project is. I took it from just being in the background and also put it in the foreground as well. With this though, we're gonna take it, find your favorite blend mode, which is like color dodge add or something like that. But a lot of people get turned off by the blend mode actually working perfectly for the design, but then does not work when blending into the actual project itself. Blend modes is not the ending of blending. So I'm gonna say, I wanna choose color dodge, but then you have this obvious thing like this being present, right? This is basically the black portion of the background still on the photo while you have the blend mode on. Now watch this now, right? We're gonna double click on the layer, hold alt on your keyboard when you have blending options selected, take this current layer and split this anchor while holding alt, so you click on it, and you can move this to the right and you can kind of see now we're keeping and maintaining the blend modes blending option that you get that it makes it look really cool but also getting rid of the background as well now of course did also mention camera all filter right so with camera all filter we go to filter camera all filter if you guys are still using like adjustments here and like using like 50 of these if like 15 of like those adjustments no so when you take your photo you want to take it filter camera roll filter when you combine it all together you're ready to put some color correction on it right what i ended up doing for this person here i went to basic i took the lights or excuse me whites and just lowered this down a lot shadows same exact thing highlights as well i don't like using contrast too much i just kind of like playing with the lights highlights and shadows of it and to make it look even more just like texturized i went ahead and used over here right below black is texture take this move it up a little bit more to make that feel a little more HD. We can take the detail, put our sharpness up a little bit as well, as well as our noise reduction. So I don't know if you're in the same boat as me, but I think John R's overall quality of this first project without my little quick tweaks, it was never bad. I just wanted to see if it had a little improvement. Let me know if I helped. If it didn't, don't listen to me. You got an opinion too. So a quick little pit stop on this piece designed by Synth Visuals, I thought was really cool, super cool. I know this is probably like a case where you might be like, yo, Sesso, the hierarchy is a little bit off in the word Vogue. Not really, right? Vogue itself has a brand identity where they kind of keep it nice and tight like that. And also the duplication on the bottom makes it feel more like a frame rather than a like mistake. I just want to personally quickly point out that the fact that when you have a little bit too much headspace though, the overall frame might perceive as empty. So for me, I don't know why in my case, I wanted to point this out, but I think a little bit bigger of a person would have allowed this to like really scream and be a, a prominent figure in this Vogue magazine piece. And that's just what I wanted to kind of point out. And also I did this, you know, I thought it was kind of cool. I don't know. All right, so Vanzen, you're up next. I think this project was actually really successful and cool, but I also saw something that was very relevant to a lot of people's projects, and I want to use yours as the example. A lot of people actually end up forgetting or ignoring the reasons why they're creating a graphic in the first place. Boom, let's say you create this graphic, then all of a sudden, you are so comfortable and excited about your designs overall, then you fail to put the actual information and purpose first and put your creativity first, which is sometimes one of the most unfortunate I guess is the word I want to use, things to happen when something when something you're proud of happens, right? So let's take the word the finals for a second and you see the word the in the the finals kind of typography at the top. What you should kind of feel is a visual weight being kind of pulled toward the left and it just, it, it should feel imbalanced, right? So when someone says, hey, your project is imbalanced, it might be because your typography or your person or your flow line, it just makes it feel imbalanced, okay? Then secondly, of course, the information, the purpose of this graphic is so tucked in the bottom left, it's it's worrisome. At first glance, I'm not even noticing it. I, I thought maybe this is like a celebratory post where it just says, hey, we're going to the finals. That's it. So for my solution, I actually did something like this, right? I put the finals, I think the word the in the finals itself was more or less kind of a type texture idea. So I kind of put it kind of like tucked in the same exact spot, but moved it more towards the bottom left. It would still be unbalanced for me personally. So I ended up putting the word versus strath, versus starth, Haven on the right hand side, kind of close together as well. So that with that whole top part felt very balanced. We got to put that 4 uh, 30 p.m. right in the middle center there, being like, you know, where the actual place is at. 
and it just made it feel a lot more confident to actually feel the typography was purposeful, the design made sense, and also can now complement your really good creative that you did and not sacrifice the purpose of the design. So for the last product review, we actually have Claudio with this really cool NBA 2K Jimmy Butler cover art thing going on here. Now, I don't wanna call this person out as being a younger designer or a newer into graphic design itself, but I personally see this as something I used to see and like, unfortunately, had the same problem with in the very beginning was you almost design with a magnifying glass and then you always focus all of your efforts into one singular portion and you leave the rest to be empty. Now, this is a very quick and easy tip. It's do not be afraid to exaggerate the art direction that you have going on. Personally, I'm confident in saying that this overall idea of the sketchy like marker thing going on across everything is a really cool approach. But the way I saw it and what I wanted to do to update it or to address this was I did this. Right, it's 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 a little sporadic because I of course don't have the PSD unfortunately for what these people are doing and sending to me. The first thing of course is making him bigger and more prominent in the overall photo will immediately kind of help you guys out when like filling space, especially with like header designs. If we were to go back really quickly and just use this render from the other project from the first one we re just reviewed, a lot of you guys are like right here and then you put your name like over here. Let me just let me just show you guys the easiest trick, okay? Just make it bigger. You can pretty much take it from here and have a way better time if your character was just way too small. If they're too small, it's it just becomes a little more problematic. You get a little more nervous on how you're gonna fill all that space. Just make them bigger. But to go back to our Jimmy Butler poster, yeah, making them bigger and then all those little sketches he kind of did, honestly, you can just take any brush whatsoever, scribble it a few times, just continue the art direction on the outsides and you'll be a, it'll be a little more stronger. Obviously, I'm not gonna lie here. It's a little congested like down below because like there's like a lot of marks going on there. I can't fix that but for the overall idea i hope you understand it however though that is the end of the video here today so the whole purpose of this i had realistic i still don't even know what this video is yet it's supposed to be like me reviewing your stuff if you just sent it to me and i was just like yo this is what i would fix if you guys enjoy it let me know I will, of course i'll start I, if this is a new series let me know because i will do it again so with that being said it says so hq out you gotta get a keep smiling stay positive and stay freaking productive guys little much love peace don't forget to check out my everything pack stuff.com so hq or so hq.com in the description down below enjoy peace